Welcome to Dewar School. Please join us as we take a tour of Dewar Junior Campus. Most students start their Dewar journey here at our junior campus in Remuera, Auckland, where up to 200 Year 7 and 8 students live and learn. Our Year 7 students have the option to either be a day student or a boarder. Here's Mr. Voss and Miss Nathan to tell you about our school. Dilworth truly is a unique school. We are an independent school that offers all the benefits available to students in other private schools, between small class sizes, specialist teachers and extracurricular opportunities. The only difference is it's free. All our students are on a full scholarship. Our primary motivation at Dilworth is assisting our students to become the best version of themselves. Providing a safe and caring school climate helps them feel supported and is integral to feeling good and flourishing. When a young man begins his Dilworth journey, he gains an entire network of people who take an active interest in his welfare, supporting his mental and emotional, physical, social and spiritual health. Mr Voss says that the focus on values at Dilworth helps us develop our characters. We learn respect, integrity, compassion, excellence and even service. Let me help you with this, sir. Thank you very much. Come and see our boarding houses. Boarding is optional for Year 7 students, but all Year 8 boarders. Boarding is awesome. It gives us a chance to immerse ourselves in school life. From 7am to 9pm, Wednesday South. There are four boarding houses on Virginia campus, which each can fit up to 48 boys. We sleep in bunk rooms of six. This is my room, and this is my bed. Pretty tidy, right? Whatever! We have shared study areas and places to play sport, music, or just hang out with our friends. Good job! Speaking of friends, it's pretty tough starting at a new school at first, but the staff really make it feel like a home away from home. Isn't that right, Matron? It sure is. So that's boarding life. Follow me to learn about school life. Two times a week, we go to chapel for prayer. You may want to picture the hands of your Heavenly Father under your hands, receiving those things as you hand them over to Him. Faith is a vital part of a Dilworth education. Each campus assembles twice a week for a service of morning prayer and a Sunday evening prayer service. Our chaplaincy department provide pastoral, spiritual and emotional care for our students, as well as Christian education classes and service opportunities. This is vital to provide a broad education and to help grow boys into great men. Most days though, we head straight into our classrooms. This is my classroom and this is my teacher, Mr. Top. Can you please tell us a bit about our curriculum? Absolutely. Dilworth teaches an integrated curriculum, which is a blend of Cambridge and New Zealand curriculum. Passionate subject specialist teachers and small class sizes means we can cater for individuals' specialist needs. And every student is given opportunities to develop his unique strengths and reach his potential. The curriculum covers a wide range of subjects, including English, maths, languages, performing arts, science and social sciences, digital technology and visual arts. Every student at Dilworth Junior Campus learns a musical instrument just like this dude. At lunchtime or after school, we often come to the library. Our amazing librarian helps us find great books to read. Thank you, miss. And often runs activities for us to participate in. Or we listen to audio books or play games. So how's life as a potato? And here's where we do digital technology. We learn digital literacy and programming concepts, including how to code. Sometimes we learn robotics. Plus, we can make cool stuff on this 3D printer. Next up, the science room. It has loads of awesome equipment for our experiments. Take it away, Mr. Chan. Whoa! Science is a mix of learning key scientific theories and concepts, as well as practical experiments and scientific inquiry. The Year 7s and 8s are taught by a specialist science teacher that provide a good foundation for them as they head towards NCEA. And this is where we get creative, the art room. So what is that supposed to be? It's very abstract. We do all sorts of art including painting, printmaking and photography which is often exhibited around the school. And now it's time for Kai. We provide breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, dinner and supper across all three campuses. 
the menus are designed to be wholesome and nutritious and provide the growing active young men with everything that they need. They get very hungry with all the sports activities that they do. Here's my favourite part of the school. And mine. The sports centre. It has three basketball courts, also used for badminton, volleyball and futsal. There's an exercise room, a classroom, a function room and a kitchen here too. And that's just for starters. We also have a 25 metre heated swimming pool which we can use after school and in PE. Oh, this is the life. And we have huge playing fields. We play cricket, softball, rugby, touch rugby, football, tennis, basketball and hockey during and after school. All the students head down to our Te Hairenga campus in Mangatawhiri during the year. Where they are taught towards learning in the outdoor curriculum facilitated by both internal and external experts. From year 9 to 13, now Duith students live and learn at the senior campus, where they really excel. Duith students achieve extraordinary results, not only academically, but in sports, the arts, and culture too. This is Mr. Reddix, he's head of all three campuses. Hi, boys. Sir. Duith's approach really works. By the end of year 8, the vast majority of our students are operating above the standard in literacy and numeracy. They're also learning musical instruments, playing sport, making friends, learning good work habits, and most importantly, becoming fantastic young men. Come and join our whanau. And give your young man the opportunities you know he deserves. Now that's a wrap. <laughs>